Hey, yo, what up, though, ladies and gentlemen? Back at it again with another video. I know y'all see in the back something new that we didn't got added to the setup, this whiteboard, and you see it's got information written all on it. So for today's video, as you see by the title, we gonna be going over nutrition one-on-one. -on -one. And the reason I'm starting with the absolute basics of nutrition is so that when we get further and further into the topic of things like how to count macros cater to your goal, how to actually track your calories accurately, things like that that have to do with the more minutia of this type of information, I want y'all to actually understand what I'm saying and I want y'all to understand what you guys are gonna be planning if you decide to make your own meal plans. Count your own macros or you have you, you paying someone else to do it, you'll have some kind of understanding of what's going on. So when we saying macros and micros, when we talking about proteins, carbs, and fats, vitamins and, miser and minerals, you'll actually know what we're talking about and not just saying these buzzwords because you know the context of the words but you don't know what they mean so real quick i'm gonna lower this camera and i'm gonna zoom in on this board to make sure that y'all can see and make sure this glare ain't too crazy and we're gonna start talking about nutrition one-on-one -on -one. okay so the first thing that you see is that this board i got it cut in half with this border i made where we have a top half and a bottom half first we're gonna go over the top half which is the absolute basics of nutrition and the bottom is gonna be getting a little bit deeper into what we learn up top so first we got six types of nutrients, right? We got carbs, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and water. Now, I'm sure you've heard of all of these things, especially everybody know water. Everybody know your vitamins and minerals because you you know you, you take your Flintstone gummies, you give them to your kids, you take your, your one a days for men or for women to get your proper vitamin and, and mineral intake from a supplemental source. Now we have carbs, fats, and proteins. If you've delved into exercise, fitness, and health at all, you've probably heard these three words because these three words are what are considered our macronutrients, right? So when you hear the word macros, it's for macronutrients. Now, why are they called macronutrients? It's because these three nutrients are required in much bigger quantities in comparison to the vitamins and minerals, which are considered micronutrients. As you see here, we call them micros because they're needed in smaller quantities. Now, water doesn't fall under macro or micro. You just, everybody know you need your water. You know, get your gallon a day in and make sure that you stay hydrated. Now, we gonna move on to the bottom so that we can get into what carbs, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals actually do for the body. So now I have to adjust my seat and my camera a little bit, but now we're on to the bottom half of the whiteboard where we're actually gonna get into carbs, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals what they do where they come from and what they actually do inside of the body and why they're absolutely necessary right so first we'll start with what i have written up here like i said i hope that glaring too bad but you don't really have to like you know copy this down it's really just a guideline so that y'all can listen and follow along but here everybody know this word calories right everybody knows calories calories in calories out oh, this is 200 calories this is a thousand calories i gotta eat 3,000 calories a day. This word here means energy, right? And where this energy comes from is carbs, fats, and proteins. So right here I have C's, F's, and P's. That's just carbs, fats, and proteins, which equal energy, which means calories. And that's because carbs, fats, and proteins, your macronutrients are your most abundant sources of energy. And that's where your calories are gonna come from. So first, Let's get into carbs. So what are carbs? Carbs are essentially the sugars and starches that are inside of your food, right? And carbs are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, essentially. Now that's not really important for you to know, but I just had to throw that in there. Now, like I said, this is all just extremely foundational. So we're not gonna get super deep into the details, but with carbs, you do have two different types of carbs. You have your simple carbohydrates and you have your complex carbohydrates. And what you may know already, is that your simple carbs are essentially the easiest form of carbohydrates to digest in the body. So that would include fructose, glucose, and lactose. So your glucose is gonna be the stuff that's found in your fruits and your vegetables, and lactose, of course, like lactose intolerant. Lactose is what's gonna be found in milk and dairy products. Um, complex carbohydrates essentially are just starches and fiber and like i said we don't get too deep but of course you know fiber stuff found in whole wheat stuff like oats your breads things like that 
So now we're going to move on to the fats. So here, what you see that I have written on the board is that fats are the most concentrated form of energy and they're an important carrier of nutrients. Now, that's a very simplistic explanation of what fats really are. So fats are integral to a lot of your bodily functions, especially a hormonal production. That's why, you know, really low fat diets, people would tend to notice that their testosterone decreases or their estrogen tends to decrease. That's because they're not getting enough fat. And that fat is what's gonna carry the nutrients throughout the body and help those certain bodily functions that play a part in things like, such as hormonal production to actually fully function and fully prosper, right? Um, you have different types of fats. Now, just like with the cars, we're not gonna get into the different types of fats, but the different types of fats, you know, you got your saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and then your, your trans fats will fall under unsaturated fats. Then you got your monounsaturated fats and you got your polyunsaturated fats. But that's about all we go get into when it comes to fats. And not to mention, I forgot to say, one gram of fat is equal to about two times the amount of energy as a carbohydrate. And that just, that just goes to show you how much energy is actually within fat. And that's why I say the most concentrated form of energy. So make sure that you're getting a little bit of fat every day. You don't want to have too much fat because too much fat, just like anything, too much of something good can turn to something bad. So too much fat, that's when you have things like high cholesterol, build up of certain um you know fatty substances throughout the body that can cause heart issues uh issues in your blood vessels high blood pressure things like that so now moving on to the proteins right so here what i have written is proteins are found in every single cell and protein is needed to build and repair all of the body tissues that's why when you hear people talking about building muscle building strength you're going to hear protein be mentioned a lot or oh, you got to have this amount of grams of protein for x amount of pounds of body weight blah 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 and that's because when you're doing stuff like tearing your muscles apart you're breaking them down the protein is what's extremely important to rebuilding those muscle fibers right so that's why protein is such a big deal sometimes i think people make too much of a deal about protein but that's just my own opinion but nonetheless it is very important now another word that you may see uh, attached to protein is amino acids and that's essentially because proteins are made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen to form amino acids now you got 20 different amino acids and nine of those amino acids are absolutely essential the other 11 can be produced by the body so by essential amino acids that just means those are the amino acids that you're going to get from food and then the rest of them the other 11 naturally produced within the body so you don't have to worry about trying to get an abundance of them from food or supplementation and now last but not least we're going to get into the vitamins and minerals now vitamins and minerals can get extremely complicated real complex that could be a video on its own but we're going to keep it short and sweet so vitamins and mineral vitamins and minerals as you see release from foods and are absorbed by the tissues right so unlike your macronutrients the vitamins and minerals are not broken down from food they're released by the food and then absorbed straight into the tissues right and they work with your macronutrients in order to regulate certain body processes now some of those body processes now i just have a few listed here you've got they help they help with absorbing other nutrients uh they change carbs and fats into energy they help promote cell growth they help with nervous system function they help the passage of fluids through cells and etc like i said vitamins and minerals do much more than i'm explaining here to what they do for the body and then you have your fat soluble vitamins your a d e and k and then you also have water soluble vitamins <laughs> my bad i slip up there so your water soluble vitamins and minerals can be dissolved in water and you get a lot of those from fruits and vegetables your fat soluble uh, vitamins and minerals are gonna be dissolved in fat and can be stored from the body. So for the fat soluble, you got vitamin A, D, E, and K. Those are those nutrients that you don't wanna take on an empty stomach because you need fat for them to dissolve. Your water solubles, a long list of those. Uh, you could take those on an empty stomach if you wanna supplement them or you can get them straight from the food. But that's our quick summary on Nutrition 101 so that y'all can have some foundational information on what we're talking about in future videos. That's the topic for the day, man. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.